Ladies and gentlemen, Savadius here. We're going to be taking a look at Ronin Liberty, how you can get rid of your lag, your delays, your rubber banding. We're going to talk about how to fix all of that two ways. One way is in game. I'm sure you've seen that before. A lot of other people talking about how you can fix that, but I'm going to tell you how to do it outside of your game as well. We put both of those together and we're going to be on the right path. Be sure to hit subscribe, hit like as well. First off, let's talk about, you got a trade off here between looks do you want your game to look really nice or do you want it to feel really nice you know i've pumped my thing up to extreme just to get some lag so i can show you guys what i'm talking about all right so let's say we're playing the game we're having a nice time oh i don't have lag i push it to extreme but we saw just a little bit of a delay there when i transformed and when i'm like looking around we might find a little bit of hesitance so for normal pve that might be fine a second or two delay isn't really gonna hurt you too much. But what about when we get into the PVP arena, when there's gonna be hundreds of people on your screen at the same time, that's when you're gonna run into problems. Let's walk through some of the settings after we take a look at your window settings first. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is jump into our windows settings. Now, this is outside of the game, inside of windows. What do you notice here? There are a number of options that we can choose, starting with those of you who with who have the NVIDIA control panel, starting with adjust image settings with preview. This allows you to just set your entire computer for a certain level of crispness, clarity, and quality on your graphics. So for gaming, if you're having performance issues, if you're not, guys, don't even worry about this, but if you are, just use your preference and slide that thing over to performance. Now you notice the edges are a little bit more jaggy now on performance. We move this up to quality and you got some crisp, sharp edges, which is probably what's giving some of the people out there some lag, some hesitancy, and just a little mushy feel to their controls. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select that. We hit apply and now you, the next time you start your computer, should be enjoying a little bit of a smoother ride there so drop me a comment below if that took care of everything you need right there but if not no worry let's follow along to the second step now the second step is actually inside the game we want to go to your menu and from there let's go to settings i'm sure you've seen a thousand videos cover this before but we're going to look at it from a little bit of a different angle the first thing i do is we scroll down here and we find the setting about quality. Yeah, that's what it's set for now, but we wanna change that to ultra performance. And you just noticed the background slightly shifted and some changes immediately happened. Now I'm looking around and it's actually a little bit smoother. That's nice, I can actually run now. I'm not getting the little lag that I was before. It's kind of an instantaneous response. Now you might be wondering, why is it blurry when you're turning? because that's an option in the game. You can actually set motion blur. Okay, so we're getting actually a little bit better now, but I still, the controls feel a little bit spongy. So what am I gonna do? Probably what you should have done in the first place. We wanna go ahead and set, if you haven't done already, just set the automatic settings. See, I got this set on Epic. No, hit the auto settings, and this will choose what your computer's graphics card can probably handle. All right, so this is gonna think about it for a while, and then it's gonna get back to me and let me know what it thinks my card can do. Medium, oh my, I can only do medium. You know what, before it could actually do a little bit higher, but there are reasons why you might test your computer once and you get a high, you might test it again, it might do a medium, because now I have multiple things open, including the recording app that I'm using right now. So it's dropped it down just a little bit lower. All right, so those of you who are running PVP content or recording your dungeons, keep in mind that you have to lower your settings down when you're doing that as well. But now let's jump in and find some things that are immediately gonna give us some better feel. You change that quality, your other settings has been changed as well. Yeah, this is quality, this is quality also. A Little bit confusing. So once you go to the auto settings, go back to screen, and put ultra performance on there. Frame generation you do not want. 
So what this is going to do is your computer is just going to create some artificial frames to put in between your other frames just to make it look smoother for you. And it's going to tax your computer and do just a little bit more work. Now we can close those and take a look at this. My, my handling is so much better now. It's just moving so much better than it was before. We did see a little bit of a lag right there. I saw a fraction of a second of a lag. And that is going to mean a win or a loss when we're talking about arena. So we have to go back there and do some more adjustments and into settings. And we're going to turn things down, such as shadows. Shadows take a lot of resources. So does anti-aliasing. And aliasing is like jagged edges. You want to get rid of jagged edges? We don't really have much concern for that when we're in an arena. Give me a jagged edge. But don't let me lose the arena view distance. How far away can you see the enemies and how many characters can you see on the screen at once when you're in a large scale PVP? Do you want to see 200 characters and get one frame per second or do you want to just see less characters? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. The shader quality of the characters shadow turn the shadows off immediately. That's going to give you so much more speed. Texture quality is what we're looking at, the, our character. We want it to look nice. We want to see those nice textures. So you can actually save that for last. But most importantly, turn off your textures. Uh, this filter is going to make just a little bit. We don't really care about seeing vegetables while we're in PvP or while we're out in the open world and we might just run into some event where we want to get the highest DPS we can. Are you concerned about what the potatoes look like at that time? No. This is the motion blur we talked about. I was moving right or left. People were like, hey, why is your screen like doing it? That's the motion blur. Let's go ahead and turn down the object details a little bit. Shadows eat so much. So does lighting. And once again, just the over general. When, you, when you're looking at field of potato, do you want those fields to be high resolution? Probably not. We don't really want to see clouds while we're out there. Preloading shaders, we can keep this on high. So basically everything we've selected above can be loaded into your system and ready to go. So that's why more memory you have is more better. So we can actually throw that stuff in there. And there's some slight optimizations it has turning things on and off. So when you're doing people, oh my God, this is so much smoother. So go ahead and follow along with these steps, the ones inside of Windows, and the ones inside of the game, and you will be enjoying life so much better. Oh, this is just simply amazing. Hello, Traveler. Was that amazing? Uh, just needed to know where they should go. So follow these steps. Let me know if it worked for you, because this worked for me. We saw the results instantly right here. So for now, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hop in, and I'm going to actually do some dailies, and I think you should too. Drop me a comment below. This is Savadius, and I'm signing out.